Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I will teach you how you can very easily add music to any video on your iPad. For this example, I am using a time-lapse video that is generated when I'm using Procreate. In case you didn't know, Procreate automatically records all of your progress when you're making a drawing or any illustration. And if you go to your range up here, you'll see that you have the time-lapse recording automatically set to on. If you want Procreate to record your progress for you, then make sure that this is turned on because if you turn it off, then it won't happen. But if it's on and you make a drawing, then you can just tap on where it says export time lapse video I'm gonna click on full length it's exporting and then I can choose to save video and that is going to save my time lapse to my photos app now I'm going to open my photos app and I'll have the video that I just exported right here it's showing me all of the strokes I did okay now from here to add sound what you do is you tap on this button on the top right corner where it says edit and then you will tap on these three dots you'll click on iMovie and then here you will be able to tap on this music icon at the bottom right and actually iMovie already offers you a ton of different songs that you can use for your project so you can scroll through these and you know play on one of them it'll first download and then if you play again you can hear a sample So whenever you're happy with a song, let's say I like this one, I'm just going to tap on the plus sign and that will automatically add the song to my video. So if I tap play here, you'll see that my video starts playing with some music. If I'm happy with the result, I can click on done and the video is going to be exported with the music that I chose and then done again. And here I have now my time lapse, but now it has sound. But what if you want a particular song that you have in mind or you have downloaded, I'm gonna show you. And say you want to upload this video to YouTube, then you can use the YouTube Studio Library to find songs that you are free to use in your YouTube videos. So go to studio.youtube.com on Safari. Here on the left side, you have to scroll a little bit until you see this music icon, and that is going to be the audio library. And here you have a ton of songs that you can use for your videos on YouTube. You do have a search bar here so you can type in any subject or you know any theme or type of music you're looking for. And you can also test the song, so to just tap on this play icon on the left. And the song will start to play. So you can scroll and test these songs until you find one that you like and once you do, you tap on the track that you want and then this button will appear that says download so you tap there and the song will download so just click on download and as you can see it's downloading right here. Once it's done I tap here and I will be able to see that it has downloaded. I'm gonna tap on it and the song opens so if I tap here you can hear the song. Now from here, you see this button that says open in iMovie. I'm actually gonna tap there. I'm gonna tap on where it says create new movie. And what that does, it, it brings the song that I have just downloaded onto my timeline here on iMovie. So the song is ready to go. Now I only have to add my video. And to do that, I can just go to where it says video and recently add it. And I should be able to locate the video that I have just brought in from Procreate. So select it, type on this plus sign, and that is going to bring the video to the timeline. Now I came all the way to the left so I can be at the beginning of the project. Now you can just tap on play and the video and the song will play together. When you're happy with the result, you just tap on done and then with this share icon at the bottom here, you will be able to once again save your video to your photos app, but this time with music. One more time, let's go to my photos app and now my project should have sound. So if I tap on my speaker, I will hear the song. Now from here, I'm ready to export and share on social media, send over email or do whatever I want with my video.
Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. This video was actually somebody's idea that they left a comment in one of my other videos. So if you have your own request or ideas for videos that you would like me to make, please let me know and I'll try to do it. If you'd like to learn more tips and tricks and cool things that you can do on iPad, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and click on the bell so you know when there's a new video out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.